Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin our devotional today in prayer. Dear Lord, I come before you asking forgiveness of all my sins so you may hear this prayer. And I come humbly before you this morning, thanking you for the opportunity you give us to speak with you. I ask, my Lord, that we may start this day on the right mentality, with the right mentality, with our spirits humbled before you in recognition of our limitations and the great need that we have to hear from you. I ask, Lord, that your Holy Spirit may open the eyes of our soul so that we may see and understand that which you want to communicate to us, Lord. We need you so much. Never leave us, Lord. Without you, we are nothing. I bless your name, and I ask that everyone that is partaking in this may also be able to experience the beauty of being in your presence this morning, Lord. All this I pray humbly in the precious name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Jesus, the Most Excellent High Priest, and it was written by Rolando Madruga and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base is found in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 17. So says the Word of God. Therefore, in all things he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. The Bible has described Jesus in many ways. Jesus had been assigned various names to describe his life and ministry. The three most common designations have been prophet, priest, and king. There is no other record of scripture clearer on this subject than the epistle of Hebrews. In developing his argument in the book of Hebrews, the writer does not focus on the role of the prophet or the lordship of Jesus, but on the priesthood. Jesus is quite rightly in the great high priest, Hebrews 4.14. He is a merciful and faithful high priest, Hebrews 2.17, and capable of sympathizing with our weaknesses, Hebrews 4.15. Outside of the priestly line of Levi, Hebrews 7.11-17, which has opened a new and living way, Hebrews 10.20, to enter even within the veil, Hebrews 6, 19. Now through him, we all draw near to God. The writer of Hebrews intends to show that Jesus is superior to all the priests, sacrifices, and covenants that preceded. Christ is the most excellent way. How? Because Jesus is the superior priest who offers a superior sacrifice and is the mediator of a superior covenant through his own sacrifice, his life. Such a high priest suited us. Amen. Jesus, our great high priest, he came down from his throne above so that he could make right our sins before you and I or even in existence. Jesus paid the price for our sin. He settled our debt. That's why he is our great high priest. We don't need anything else except for Jesus. We don't need anyone else, anything else to forgive us of our sin because Jesus already made that right. He already paid that debt. But here's the thing, my brothers and my sisters. He is the great high priest. He has already paid the debt for your sins. But what you need to do is accept that forgiveness of your sins. The Bible says, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Confess your sins and he will forgive you. He will forgive all of your sins. It doesn't say that he will forgive some sins, but not another. He will forgive you of all unrighteousness because he is the great high priest. He came to earth 
to settle that debt for you. You don't have to pay any more. You don't have to have that burden, but you just accept the gift that our great high priest has been so willing to give us. It's free, my brothers and sisters. It is a free gift just for you. Won't you accept his invitation today? Ask him to come into your heart, to be your Lord and Savior, to forgive you of your sins. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
And now we beg that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.